Hey everyone, this is a quick uh, video vlog on motorcycle necks. I don't have a standard one here in front of me right now, but um, trust me, it's smaller than this one. This is a full size hidden fork stop neck. You can see the fork stops. It takes the race and bearing. You need two races, two bearings. The race gets pressed into the neck on both sides. On this side, it gets pressed in, and then the bearing goes in, and then your dust cover goes on top of that. On this side, your race gets pressed in, and then after that, you get this fork stop ring. And the fork stop ring has these grooves in it that match these fork stops. So when you turn it, it locks up against these fork stops, so it keeps your handlebars from going full circle. Now. This gets permanently screwed into your bottom, the top of your bottom triple tree. So there'll, there'll be your, uh, your one inch neck bolt. This will slide down over it and then get four screws in it around it to, to secure it so it doesn't move on the triple tree. So what you do is if your triple tree doesn't come with these holes, you have to put this on there, mark for your first hole. And what I suggest doing is putting your neck bolt on sliding this down onto the neck bolt, marking your first hole, then taking it back off, take your neck bolt off, drill and tap it, put your neck bolt back on, put this back on, put a screw in to hold it, and tap for your second one across from it. Take it completely back apart, and drill and tap for your second bolt, put it all back together, and screw them both in, and then mark for your next two holes. Always try and put the first two holes in, um, because what happens is when you lock it down with the first one and you go in with your tap or your marker or your punch and you punch it, if this thing rotates ever so slightly up against the neck bolt, when you, uh, okay, it, go, it moves over ever so slightly and then you go and you, and you hit this one and it moves back and you hit this one and it moves again. When you tap all the holes, they won't line up perfectly. You have two of the screws will be kicked off the side and you have to grind them down. You can still work with it, but it's just better to do the first two so it secures it and it doesn't move for the next two. So that's how you get your fork stop ring on your triple tree. A lot of triple trees don't come with them, like the DNA and stuff like that. So <clears throat> uh, that's how you do that. Now your regular neck that you can get on a uh, frame and you would ask for maybe a shorter neck because you'll use neck cups and you can see the races inside this neck cup. So what you'll do is, if you subtract the, the depth of this, this section here, then, almost dropped it, um, that'll be your neck length because once you add these to the stock neck, it comes out to about this long. I think it's, uh, I don't have a measuring thing here, but it's like seven inches or something. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So this neck, with the fork stop included, is seven and eight, counting the recessed ring. Not counting the fork stop, it's uh, just under an eight, uh, seven and seven eighths. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's the uh, difference between these necks. These are considered billet, but they're not. They're uh, what I do is I. I laid out the inside here to fit the uh, race. You see the race won't go in, you have to press it in. Then the others, and then we laid the outside. Then we laid the inside of this one. And then we machine it to get the uh, fork stops. And then I actually come back with a hand file since we don't do CNC machining. And I hand file these fork stops around the edges to round them off because what you want is the inside of this is rounded on the end, so where it stops, it's rounded. And if these are square, when you beat your neck over, you, you slam your handlebars over, the, if this is square and this is round, this is going to try and round off the square piece and the corners will get wedged in here and it won't fit. So we round these off to match this. And it takes about two or three minutes to do them with a file. It's not very hard. Uh, you can get neck cups though. 
to put in the other necks that have a one fork stop and that's what this one's actually designed for and it goes on there like this it just has that one fork stop right here and uh, this gets bolted to your triple tree and this gets bolted to your neck there's three holes here and it uh, pinned it gets pinned to your neck it doesn't even it's not even bolted it's pinned so that's what's going on there and um, yeah so there you go if you have any other questions post them up my blog my vlog and uh, I'll try and answer them um, basically if you want to make your own net and you don't have the measurements you start off with the measurement I gave you here seven and eight total seven without this or uh, <clears throat> six and seven eighths without a uh, fork stop and then you take a race you take a bearing you put the bearing in the race and you measure to where you have about a sixteenth sticking out sixteenth of that bearing should be sticking out so you just lay that on a flat surface and caliper it up to figure out the depth you need to go to leave that bearing sticking up a sixteenth if it sticks up a little bit more it's okay if you make your own dust cover because you can make the dust cover as deep as you want to cover it so it's really it's really really the kind of thing that you can fix as you go along if you mess up because this next stock can be anywhere from eleven to twenty something dollar twenty two dollars a foot and um, so yeah so you don't want to you don't want to mess these up too much and you can uh, change that around I'll show you about what it does if I can get the focus right on this and get the focus right I think I can reach it from here uh, move this wheel out the way I'll scratch that all right so you can see the fork stop ring is here so when I turn it it stops I'm going to turn it back the other way. It stops. Well, stops there. Stops there. Stops there. And it's just a cleaner look. You don't have that big neck cup. But some people, um, some people like the neck cup. So to each his own, right? All right, everyone, take care.